हेलो गाइस, आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड आई एम विशाली की कान एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग द ई टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट थ्री वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स दैट इज द इलेक्ट्रिक प्रेशर इलेक्ट्रीफाइड सो बबल एंड एनर्जी स्टोर्ड इन द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड राइट सो ऑल ऑफ दीज टॉपिक्स आर रियली इंटरेस्टिंग एंड वी आर गोइंग टू सी वॉट आर दीज टॉपिक्स we are going to have in depth analysis about all of them so first of all we are starting with the electric pressure so we all know what is pressure pressure is force per unit area similarly we can find out the electric force and the electric force per unit area so now here you can see we have a charged surface this surface is my charged surface and i have taken a very small area in the immediate vicinity of the field point p right so i have taken an outside point p from this surface and i have taken a very small surface in the immediate vicinity of this point p on this surface right so now if i see the rest of the part the rest of the part of the surface is not that close to the point p i have taken the closest point from the p closest surface from the point p now here we will be having the electric field so electric field due to the area this is area and the electric field at this point would also be there right so at the inside point at the outside point i would be having two electric fields so electric field due to both of these parts would be e1 and e2 right so i have taken the point p to be outside as we have already seen so now we can use the gauss's law according to the gauss's law the total electric field the electric field we were taking from all of the components so the total electric field the electric field e1 plus e2 due to both of the parts will be equal to sigma upon epsilon not n cap right so n cap is perpendicular to this surface right so e1 plus e2 will be sigma upon epsilon not n cap so if i am moving this point p to the inside of this volume so how our electric field would be there electric field would be zero at the inside point i can say e1 plus e2 right due to both of the surfaces would be zero at the inside point because the charge is not there applying the gauss's law q upon epsilon not would be e1 plus e2 will be equal to zero right so now here i can say e1 will be equal to e2 right so the e1 is minus e1 over here so here i can say e1 would be equal to minus e1 because i am taking the inside point so the direction of e1 from the previous electric field direction because the pre previous electric field direction would be outside this volume now the electric field would be inside so now e1 will be minus of e1 right so here instead of e1 i will be putting minus of e1 plus e2 will be zero which means e1 is directly equal to e2 and now e2 will be equal to so we know e1 plus e2 is sigma upon epsilon not so let's put e1 is equal to e2 over here i will be having 2 e2 will be equal to sigma upon epsilon not right so e2 will be equal to sigma upon 2 epsilon not n cap right so now we have found out e2 sigma upon 2 epsilon not now force is charge into e right so how i can represent charge charge will be equal to sigma into delta s right and now how i can represent e so e can be represented as sigma upon 2 epsilon not n cap so now force will be equal to sigma square delta s upon 2 epsilon not n cap right so this is how i can get the force now force when it is divided by the area force they are divided by delta s it is going to give me the power so what was the force force was sigma square delta s upon 2 epsilon not n cap right and now i am going to divide it with delta s this delta s and this delta s is going to cancel out and here i am going to get sigma square upon 2 epsilon not n cap this is my pressure right so here pressure is represented as in the terms of electric field also we can represent the pressure 
in the terms of electric field the pressure would be half epsilon naught e square n cap right so this is how i can denote my electric pressure now coming to the electrified soap bubble what is electrified soap bubble so as we know we have the soap bubbles so in the soap bubble we have various pressures we have from inside we have the gas pressure which is going towards the outside then from outside we have the atmospheric pressure which is going to trying to compress the soap bubble so it is towards the inside then we have surface tension surface tension is also going to make the soap bubble as small as possible so it's also inside pressure now on this soap bubble if i provide the electronic charges right so if the soap bubble which is floating in air we are charging it electronically we will be having one more pressure apart from these three pressures so we have one more pressure which is the electric pressure right so electric pressure is where it is acting it is acting in the outward direction so you can see here we have made the electric pressure outward and it will be trying to expand the soap bubble right so it would be isothermal expansion so now this gas pressure is related to the radius so it is inversely proportional to the radius of the soap bubble cube right atmospheric pressure we all know now the surface tension is repre represented with the help of the constant of surface tension which is t and the surface tension pressure is represented as 40 upon r not right it is also inversely proportional to r not now here if i see only the soap bubble i have three pressures now this was my pressure from the atmosphere which is represented as p so this is the surface tension pressure and this is the gas pressure so p minus k upon r not cube plus 40 upon r not is equal to 0 so now when we have charged this soap bubble we have applied one more pressure which is equal to sigma square upon 2 epsilon naught i have just talked about the electric pressure so electric pressure was equal to sigma square upon 2 epsilon naught so it is going to act in the outward direction so we are putting it with the negative sign and the radius is expanded from r naught to r now initial radius was r naught the soap bubble expanded and then we have put the electronic charges and now we have the radius to be equal to r and now the new equilibrium would be p naught atmospheric pressure minus k upon r cube gas pressure plus 40 upon r surface tension minus sigma square upon 2 epsilon naught now this is my electronic pressure right so this is the equilibrium condition for the electrified soap bubble so i hope you understood what is electrified soap bubble now coming to the energy stored in the electric field how much energy is stored in the electric field we all know what is energy so if i have delta s to be the area and now the delta s area if it is moving if i am increasing the area like in the soap bubble with the help of all of these pressure the radius was increasing so from delta s we are increasing the normal area and it is increased by delta x right so delta x is the expansion in the x direction so it is a small expansion that is increasing the volume so now work done work done we all know we all know it's equal to the pressure multiplied with the distance so work done will be equal to in this volume volume would be delta s into del x so here what was the pressure pressure was sigma square upon 2 epsilon not delta x and i am multiplying it with del x so this is how i am going to get the work done so now i got the work done and energy will be converted by the unit volume if i divide the work done by the volume i will be getting the energy so energy will be equal to sigma upon 2 epsilon naught because the volume is delta s into del x so if i divide it by delta x del x i will be getting sigma square upon 2 epsilon naught right so this can be equated as half epsilon naught e square which is the energy density so it is defined at a point when the field 
is not uniform. So at that point also we can define the energy stored in the electric field. So I hope you understood all of the three topics that I have discussed in this video in detail. If you have any doubt regarding any of the concept, you can put the doubt in the comment and I will be trying to resolve your doubt as soon as possible. I hope you like this session. If you like it, please push the like button, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends and also give me your feedback. Thank you so much.